Okay, here I'm going to go over the proper use of a centrifuge. And while they may look different, they all operate in the same basic way. So the basics, uh, centrifuge is a piece of equipment that puts an object in rotation around a fixed axis, it spins, and the whole point is to separate the substance of different densities. The denser substances, as you see down here, will appear towards the bottom of the tube, and the less dense substances will be up here. So these can be slightly different in density, um, and by spinning it at a certain rate for a certain time, you'll develop that kind of pellet down there and allow that separation technique and allow to pour this off in most cases here. Uh, separation by centrifuge, uh, solids can be separated from solution. And a prime example of this is separating of blood into plasma and cellular components. So the plasma, you have the buffery of kind of leukocytes, the white blood cells, and the erythrocytes or the red blood cells down here. So while initially it may look as one solid um, red kind of liquid, if you spin it down, you will get this yellow portion called the plasma, and your erythrocytes or red blood cells will be down at the bottom. They are the most dense. There will be a thin layer, if you look carefully, uh, this kind of well, white blood cells and uh, some platelets as well. It will be that yellow portion that's simply all located in blood, but the, through the, the densities and the centrifuge process, you're able to separate those out. Centrifuge safety, because they do spin at a very fast rate, um, it's high rotational speed. We're talking in the thousands or ten thousands or even higher in some cases. They must be balanced or you run the risk of damaging the equipment yourself or items around it. So even if you want to centrifuge one thing, you need to make sure that the centrifuge is balanced in the sense that the mass is the same on both sides. Otherwise, it'll get out of balance and it'll walk itself off the table, can run into things, can permanently damage the rotor and equipment, all bad things. And at the end, uh, whenever it's done, it's tempting, but do not attempt to touch or stop the spinning rotor by hand or with another tool or object. So a lot of times the timer might go off, you'll lift it up and you'll go grab your hands and just stop it and grab your uh, equipment. You want to try to avoid this at all costs. Uh, Reason being, uh, it could spin at a very fast rate. You want to let it slow down naturally because uh, you're putting pressure on one area, on especially the higher end uh, balance points, might be damaging that rotor a little bit or catching your finger on one of the um, tubes here and just all bad things there. So set setting up a centrifuge, you want to place the correct size and type of tubes in the centrifuge. Some are specifically made for the high rate of spinning. Um, and you always want to use a counterbalance. The counterbalance is by mass, not by volume. So if you put, you know, 10 mils of something on one side, if it's water, great, but water on the other side, you know, water-based, you'll be in good shape. But make sure it's by mass, not by volume. That's the way you want to keep it balanced. If you're using a substance that's a lot denser than water, you don't necessarily want to just put water on the other side because the volume might be the same, but the mass will not. Put the tubes opposite of one another, as we kind of see here. Um, in the centrifuge, if you have more than two tubes, only the ones opposite the other will have the equal mass. So these two can have equal mass, and these two can have equal mass. It does not mean these all have the same mass. These two need to be equal, and these two need to be equal, those that are directly across from one another. Sometimes you do run experiments where you're loading the entire thing up, and that's fine, uh, as long as the masses are right around the same. Lastly, you want to enter the RPM, revolutions per minute, uh, if an option uh, and close the lid. So sometimes they are all preset, sometimes you can adjust the RPM. Uh, turn the timer and press start. Remove the tubes carefully after the centrifuge has completely stopped spinning to prevent remixing. So some will be more stable than others. You want to carefully remove those. You want to decant, remove that top liquid portion sometimes. Uh, you want to keep that uh, pellet, you want to extract that, whatever the protocol calls for. Just be mindful of this is the proper way to centrifuge so that you eliminate errors in this separation technique.